Alright, so as the title suggests, I am now going to give better breeding a try. Here I got my two bettas I'm going to try and spawn with. I'm also using my DSLR, so I'm still trying to get used to the way the to uh, still trying to get used to how to work the auto fo the uh, how to melee focus and whatnot. But um, with that said, here I got my female. Here I got my male. As you can tell, they're in the tank together, but there is a divider. And it's been like this now for about around a day or so. So most likely today after tomorrow, I'll actually be releasing them. I'll actually be moving the uh, female in with a uh, high tet here. But the one thing I'm worried about is how small High Ted's bubble nest is. I mean, it is a bubble nest, but in comparison to some of the bettas I've had in the past when it comes to their bubble nests, this is incredibly pathetic. And I personally don't know why uh, High Ted here is just gone and just made this itty bitty nest. Especially considering I know what he's capable of doing, but I'm guessing he's a different fish. So, um,. If all else fails with high tet, I do have another beta that I can try spawning with. But I want to give a high tet a shot because I love his finish and I love the colors and whatnot. And I want to see what what type of beta fry I'll actually get with them. But uh, yeah, and of course I am feeding them blood worms and whatnot, like you should. And of course after after I'm done doing this video, I'll actually be uh, giving them some blood worms. And since I don't have a uh, tripod for my DSLR to hook this up to, I really can't show me feeding bloodworms. But of course, there are videos showing feeding bloodworms to fish. So yeah. And of course, Vanella here, which is actually the female's name, is getting fatter. Give me a second if I can zoom in. There we go. So she is getting egg laid in. So that is good. It does mean that this is doing, uh, me sticking her in with high tech like this is doing the job. Though my focusing skills can be a lot better. And this thing here is constantly being annoying whenever I'm trying to shoot a video in my bathroom. Yes you are. You have patty water in the kitchen. Yes, you do. You should drink from that instead of the bathtub. I'm trying to break her from drinking water from here, but my father doesn't help that when she when he constantly gives her water. You know, I'm trying to break her from that that way so she can start drinking water from the kitchen again. Such an annoying little fur ball. Yes, you are. And of course right here is a uh, white knight, which technically isn't white anymore, but uh, this is the other beta I'm going to use or try and spawn with if high tet doesn't, if I uh, can't get anything to happen with high tet. And of course I'm still trying to learn my, learn the focusing and whatnot. Sometimes I get it just right and sometimes I don't, so bear with me with these videos. I also got Blake and Sun here too. As you can tell, Blake is fat. So these two are getting ready to spawn. I don't know when they're actually going to do that, but I'm going to try and do like a whole separate video of Angel spawning. So when these two actually finally decide to spawn, I'll hopefully have a whole little video on that. Even though there's a bunch of other people out there that do better videos than me. But I can already tell it's going to happen pretty soon since both their vents are down and whatnot. So hopefully they'll spawn soon and hopefully my cat will shut up.
And unfortunately, my flower horn has butthole problems. He's got a hernia again. So I gotta use uh, clear on him again. Every video! Oops, sorry about, sorry about my voice speaking. Every video. You just have to come in here and make a racket. Yes, you. What a nuisance. I also uh, removed my two veil tails from my 29 because, I, because I'm actually pretty sure they're both male and female. And the main reason why I think that is is because this one right here, man, my, can I? This one right here is getting bulgy where, where the eggs usually lie, and this one has a knot on its head. Usually that's the two telltale signs that you got a male and female pair. So it's actually going to be pretty cool if these two are actually a male and, male and female pair. And I also got me another angelfish. I got this one technically for free with the angelfish fry I gave off to Worlds Underwater. I know it feels like, I know it sounds like I'm going through these things like left and right which really does suck. But this one I got technically for free. Unfortunately the other veil tails I had, they unfortunately all died. And it really does suck. But angelfish are hit and miss unfortunately. And here's what's left of the, of the angelfish fry I have. I just basically plucked all the uh, big ones out of this tank. That way so the little ones can now grow out and whatnot. I also have a catfish in here too. I just need to find it. There it is. Yeah, I just can't, yeah, I really need to get myself a lens that can let me do auto-focusing in some form or another. Alright, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm going to talk about that little veil that I just showed you. Um, I did just do a wire change in that tank yesterday, so I don't know why his uh, fins are clamped. He was healthy when I got him, so hopefully he'll survive. Yawn. Yeah, I finally caught one yawning. But, uh... I'm thinking since he's just new to the tank, it's going to take him a little while to get used to everyone. Can you stop opening the door, you stinking cats? Oh god, I got two now. So like I was trying to say before, I got rudely interrupted by my cats again. I'm hoping the veil will survive. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed the tank and just leave it alone after that. I'm not going to do any water changes or anything like that. Though with that said, today I am going to do a water change in these guys' tank. I'm going to do a water change in my little, in my little flower horn tank here. And I'm going to do a change in butthole problem tank here too. My god, he's big in comparison to the uh, to my little guy. But he definitely has butthole problems. And that sucks.